Great to see you. My name is Ben Hewlett. Right? The hot air is coming out fast or slow? Slow. So this means that you open your glottal aperture and you breathe slowly. And that's the way to sound good on the harmonica. One of the ways. We need to flood these little reeds with a lot of air, big, fat columns of slow moving air. We don't want you to <laughs> squirt little cold silver jets of air at the reeds. They don't work so well. They will sound much warmer and much more pleasant to listen to. Good, good tone, if you can try to master that. So shove it in, open wide, play with hot air, it's a bit like, you know, if you're in a meeting and you feel a yawn coming on. And you try and stifle that yawn and you think, oh, at least no one has noticed. Wrong. That's called harmonica practice. <laughs> when you yawn, try yawning now. It really stretches the throat open, doesn't it? And that's what we want. We want, you see... We're trying to open you up. This is another secret of the harmonica. I'm not sure if I should be telling you this really, but every in, every instrument's got a sound box, hasn't it? You know, guitar, ukulele, piano, trumpet, all those things, violin, they've all got a sound box. But with the harmonica, the sound box is you. You are the sound box. So we've got to open you up inside. We've got to make you spacious and resonant inside like a guitar box I don't know what the word is for that sound box like a guitar let's say like a guitar shall we how about that so we've got to open you up so we've done the first bit now the next bit is we've got to open up the tube here what do you call this tube is it esophagus is that what it's called so we've got to open that up so the best thing is good posture so if you can stand up while you're playing, you'll have better posture straight away. Or if you want to just consider your posture, don't be playing like this. Hello, I'm a harmonica player. <laughs> the times I see people, look at my shoulders. The times I see people take the harmonica and they go like this. <laughs> Madness, isn't it? I did an Alexander Technique class as a student and the guy said, right, pick up your harmonica. And I went like this. And he said, why, why are you going to, why are you leaning straight towards the harmonica? You'll bust your neck, you crazy guy. Why don't you bring the harmonica towards you? Your arms are working? Uh, yes. Okay, well, bring the harmonica towards you. Okay, yeah, that uses less energy, it's easier. It's, so, posture. That's the next step in how to get really good tone. And that'll sort of straighten out all these pipes. Next one is breathing, breathing from the diaphragm. We'll go into that in more detail, but you can breathe very shallow where you're these clav clavicles, are they called that? Clavicular breathing, where all this lot moves, but nothing else does. Then you could have um, sort of thoracic breathing where the rib cage opens and closes. Then you could have diaphragmatic breathing where it's the whole thing comes from much lower. You know, if you cough, just stick your fingers in your belly and cough right now. <coughs> <coughs> Did you feel that muscle kicking? That's the one we want to harness for playing the harmonica or any other breathing instrument or singing. So if I play fast, I can feel the stomach muscles just go bang, 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 just like a small cough. <coughs> Why do you do that? Stick the harmonica in your mouth, holes one and two, and then just gently cough. Put your finger on your belly. You can feel that that muscle is working. And that's what we've got to try and harness to get the harmonica to sound good. And coupling all of those, all those five things with the hands. You're going to get really good sound. It takes a bit of practice. There's more to tone than just that, but that's a really good start. So I'd recommend that's where you start. And you can do that 
right now. As soon as you're finished with this, you can do it. And that works on single notes as well. So if I was playing a single note, doesn't sound terribly inspiring, does it? But if I put some energy into it and try and think about all those six things, So that's the first part of my first pillar of five. Those, those five pillars to get you from zero to hero, I'll go through in a moment. It's very, very extensive. It's basically the whole thing on how you play the harmonica. But the first way to start is getting good tone. So that's how I like to start people off. Breathing and tone. So it sounds great. And this will help you if you've got breathing difficulties <coughs> like me. If you're coughing too much, then that's a good place to start. It gets you physically fit for playing the harmonica and it warms up the instrument, gets you, gets your ears working for music, rhythm, pitch, all that kind of thing. And it's a very good way to start. OK, so let's have a look further into those five Let pillars. Let me elaborate on my five steps, the five pillars of success. So the first thing to do to get up and running is to have a bit of infrastructure and knowledge about the instrument and its legacy and how it works and which way up it goes and which instrument to get, how to breathe. And then the first thing we do is we look at rhythms, chugging, which is articulated rhythms where you you say, you know, a crazy word like chew, chaka, chew. And into the harmonica, it sounds like this. That kind of thing, very simple, but that's how we start. Rhythm is the essential thing in music. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing, the guy said. <laughs> 